T minus 20 seconds. Fucking nice configurative flight pressure. T minus 15. T minus 10. T minus 10. 10. 9. 9. 8. 8. 7. 7. 6. 6. 5. 5. 4. 4. 3. 3. 3. 2. 2. 1. 1. 0. Lift off. Materials engineer, I'm going to walk you through some of what you're seeing and hearing as the vehicle continues to ascend. You can tell that we've had a successful liftoff initially. The Falcon 9 has cleared the towers and it is rapidly approaching uh, what's called maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is known as max Q. It's when the rocket is pushing the hardest against the atmosphere. Speed 550 meters per second, then reach the dead silent kilometers. You can see the engine plume, the engine plume, the engine plume widening as the rocket is increasing in altitude and there's less pressure. MVAC chill means that the second stage engine is preparing itself to ignite. Shortly after the main engine cutoff, we're going to We're going separate to the, stages the stages and begin the second stage ignition. ignition. T plus two minutes. Speed 1.2 kilometers per second. Downrange distance 11 kilometers. Main engine cutoff approaching shortly. The fairings have successfully deployed. You can hear everyone is phenomenally excited here. The Merlin vacuum engine is burning bright as it's moving up to speeds approaching 8 kilometers per second. The first the stage first will soon begin its series of three burns to head to back head towards, towards Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. First, it will first reorient, reorient itself. itself. It will reorient, reorient itself using, using cold, cold gas, gas thrusters. thrusters. It will perform, it perform three, three more burns, burns as, it approaches, as it approaches landing zone, landing one. zone one. Stage one, Stage cruise one, back is starting. starting. The boost back boost is the primary, the primary burn, burn that will get, will get the vehicle moving more slowly and heading back heading to Cape Canaveral. Back. Track position of signal.
Man, that is awesome. We are well on our way to taking Orcom to orbit and that boost back burn. That's the first step of a really intense process to get that stage one back on land. Man. Yeah, like, like so many things just happened. My, my heart beat twice. Two, two beats since we were on last. Secondly, uh, there were so many important things. There was first the, the takeoff, uh, the immediate takeoff, which is just a huge relief. <laughs> Then there's, then max, there's Q, max Q, and you have the maximum, have the maximum pressure. pressure. Past, Past that, that, huge relief. Huge relief. Then the stage then separation, the stage and everyone here went nuts. nuts. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and then the boost back. So everything is so far so looking far great, right? So, so far, so good. good. Yeah, yeah, that boost back burn is going to go on for 30 seconds, and then it's going to cut off. We're going to flip the stage back around, and as we enter that atmosphere, those grid fins are going to pop out and start the guidance in through the atmosphere. And so we're about. Four minutes four away minutes from uh, when they would have touched down, right? Exactly. Okay. Yes, about right. four minutes away. <laughs> Everyone's really excited. There's a lot of energy. Yeah, that yeah, boost, that bar, boost, bar, boost bar, back burn is really important, is really important because it reorients us back, back down to the launch site, site back, down back down to landing zone, zone one, one, as opposed to normally after the first stage separates from a rocket, that first, sorry, after the second stage separates from a rocket, that first stage will continue on a sort of ballistic trajectory and crash into the ocean, but we are coming back. To land. Uh, one of the things one I think that, that is, is another, another thing that, thing that just not that intuitive, not that intuitive is, what, is what an orbit is. is. Uh, uh, and, and so right now, so right now the, the second stage, stage is going is right, far right, orbit. Right. Right. It, it, it is it is going faster and faster and higher and higher to try to ping these satellites off into orbit. And what that what that means is uh, you're not floating in orbit. Uh, you know, it, your gravity is almost the same as it is on Earth. So what's happening is it's almost like the second stage is like a giant, a, 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 a giant throwing uh, the satellites yeah, exactly. as hard as you can, uh, so that they're going 17,000 miles an hour. So you can basically curve around the Earth with falling, but they're going so fast that they're actually curving at the same curvature of the Earth. Well, yeah, and I know the same thing. A lot of people, I, a lot of people that I think about think of space as just going up really high and back down, which is a lot of like space tours and kind of things. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to deliver satellites and stuff like that. We're super fast, really fast sideways, which is why it's really hard to bring the stage back because the faster you go, the harder it gets to come back as well. So, and, so also, and also, you know, you know being able being to, able to get, get all of these all satellites into that orbit, that's really that's hard. But then having I mean, yeah, 11 yeah, and getting them to maintain exactly right. their orbit is also, is also really difficult. difficult. But let's check in actually with John Innsbrucker for another update on how both the second stage burn is going and also how that first stage is looking too. We're at 2 plus 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Everything continues to go nominal, as we like to say here at SpaceX. Falcon 9 continues to power its way into orbit. The second stage is building up to 4.7 Gs of acceleration. Now, currently, we're about 2 minutes away from shutdown of the second stage engine to get into orbit. Engine performance continues to be nominal. I'm looking at the trajectory. We're going right down the middle of the track. That's good news. We're right where we want to be. For the first stage, you heard about the first boost back burn. Coming up in another minute or so, and coming up very shortly, is the entry burn, and then hopefully the landing burn. And you hear the cheering in the background. achieve in order to get that rocket back down to the, to the ground, um, but it's actually a super complicated thing. Like, you did some cool analogies, cool math to figure this out, right? I tried to figure out how hard this really is, and so I kind of, I crunched the numbers with the size of the rocket and the size of the highest point. What's happening with the first stage is it's like launching a pencil over the Empire State Building, having it reverse, come back down, and land on a shoebox on the ground in a windstorm. That's, that's what's happening. the critical part. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think I could throw a pencil <laughs> over the Empire State Building. It's the same thing they're trying to do. And the crazy thing is, we're like 30 seconds away from this. From this from from crazy, crazy movie. Movie. This is energetic room. You're going to give us a hush. Oh my gosh. Just getting the last bearers. So Nick, landing legs should be deployed in about 10 seconds or so. That is a view from the landing pad.
Yeah. LZ1, the problem is landing. Landing operators, movement procedure 11.100, section 3 on LZ1, beat that, and recovery that. Repeat, 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 repeat. Thank <laughs> you.